Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. Unless you've been hiding under a rock, you've probably heard of the Quarters of Time. However, there are a lot of details that might not be clear to people, especially people who are casual, don't play all the time. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the details. There's various things you can do within the Corridors. And for each of those activities, I will provide timestamps in the video so you can get to the items that you'd like to see. Again, if you like this video, if it provides value to you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So the corridors of time are on Mercury. They're the areas that Osiris was looking for Saint-14 and that you've done various quests. It's initially kicked off by bringing Saint-14 to the tower. You do that by doing the impossible task, which is a different quest. For that quest, I actually have a separate video that I'll link here if you need more information on how to do that. Corridors is very similar to this in Infinite Forest, except it has five forward exits and a backward exit in each area. The exits are denoted by symbols. Plus, Clover, Snake, Diamond, and Hex for forward exits, and Teacup for backward exits. Again, that's just what the community came up with. The area represents the infinite possibilities, again, that Osiris took to track down the Saint in the first place. There are 19 lore entries related to the corridors and one special emblem. To get these, you must traverse the corridors in a particular order using the symbols from before. Over the last week, uh, several notable streamers, as well as other discords such as Raid Secrets and other areas, have spent hours deciphering a map made to a secret area within the corridor. These symbols, which is a long sequence to do all at once, once complete, takes you to your Guardian's grave, and it's a pretty cool dialogue from Saint. It also elects the quest for the Exotic Bastion. Now that the community has completed this, you won't need to do the quest, this particular part of the quest, and instead you can go straight to Bastion. It'll be available to everyone. However, getting to your grave and going through some of the lore and some of the dialogue is probably pretty cool, so it's probably still worth your time. Once you're complete, you'll do the Bastion quest. So what's in the Bastion quest? You talk to Saint-14, you have to kill five fallen captains or servitor in a tangled shore. The easiest way to do this is probably the when you first, the first area you come into, there's a servitor and a captain that shows up. There's also the Lost Sector that's right there for the empty tank. That's an easy place to get kind of servitor kills, so you can kind of do that over and over. Then you have to actually run the empty tank Lost Sector and kill a specific enemy within that. And then after that, you have to complete 10 spider bounties and in the tank and in the Tangle Shore, kill 30 challenging enemies and do pu eight public events. Now, the key with this is, if I were you, what I would do is if you haven't hoarded up any bounties from uh, from Spider, I would actually go into the beginning before you do any of these other steps. I would get the bounties at the beginning. There's usually four bounties you can do that are kind of just kill things. And then there's also ones for particular lost sectors. So you can actually get those and do probably half of those bounties and get those done while you're doing the other steps. And then obviously later you'll have to do the rest of the, the bounties. For the bounties where you have to kill different wanted criminals um there's usually some on on the actual tangled shore so those will be easy to get if you're there then there's usually quite a few on either io um edz or nessus and i what i would do is for the rest of those i would just get a bunch of them from just one area so you don't have to do a lot of traveling around once you're complete with that you're going to find a grave in the trapper's cave lost sector and it's kind of tricky as you're going through the cave there's a waterfall towards the end i'll kind of show that on screen with next to that waterfall, there's a little thing of ether. If you go and go on that ether, that's how you'll advance the, the quest. And then you'll have to run a special version of the Hallowed Lair Strike and kill a specific enemy, Defiled Razik. But again, it's pretty easy. It doesn't take a lot of effort to do it. And again, most of the steps you can get through probably about an hour or so. Once complete, you'll have Bastion, a new kinetic fusion rifle that packs a lot of punch. It has a three burst that fouls out, fires out and ignores elemental shields. This will probably become very handy in certain scenarios where match game is being used. So the Sundial potentially, um, Nightfall, um, even uh, Menagerie, things like that, that might be useful because again, it allows you with your kinetic slot to be able to actually do some damage and maybe in certain weapons locked out modes that might be useful for you. It's also a fun gun in Crucible. Again, it does require some skill to use. But you can shoot people out of supers, and if fire close to a group, you can take out an entire group out in one PvP shot. Again, it's slow to charge, 
and it's got a limited range, so it's gonna be very situational, but I could see where it might be something, again, it's sort of a bailout gun. It's similar to like a shotgun or something like that. The difference would be with this gun, instead of taking out one Guardian, you could potentially take out multiple and you could take people out of Super. So again, it's useful. Is it the best gun? No, but I think it has, it has use and again, it's very situational in certain scenarios. So that's the video, guys. Hope you uh, found value out of it. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and again, get in the comments. We can kind of talk about uh, this particular quest, the state of what's going on with Bungie, or just things in general. Again, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.